driver, you might see diesel shunting cars or Anthony the Greek and en the Greek American engine shunting cars, sometimes together, sometimes separately. But whatever the weather, the two engines always get the job done on time. Managers don't complain, and Merida especially is proud of both of them. But suddenly, there was lots, suddenly a huge ship came into the yard and lots of goods were, ta were, were getting taken off the ship. Darn, said both engines, what we need is some help because this is a lot of work. And work and help it shall be done. And her, help shall come, said Merida. I heard everything. I've got a new engine coming to help you guys. Or should I say a former engine? Oh, goody, a former engine. I wonder who it is. <clears throat> the engine soon found out, and it came as quite a surprise. Good morning, said Diesel. Pleased to see you engines again. The engines were shocked. They have not worked with diesel for a long time. Well, this one never did, technically. What are you doing here? Said Anthony. I've been... You're worthy, princess. I, I mean, Merida has sent me to help you two. I am to shunt some dreadfully tiresome cars. Shunt? Shunt where? Said X diesel suspiciously. Where? Why from there to here? And then again from here to there? Easy, isn't it? With that, Diesel, as if to make himself quite clear, bumped the cars very crossly. On, on, they cried. The engines were very, very suspicious. They did not trust Diesel at all. The engines refused to help. They stayed in the shed until Diesel left. Cars laid all over the place. Ships were delayed, and Merida especially complained. So there's trouble in the yard, said Merida in her office. I shall, I shall attend to the matter right away. Diesel was working loudly and alone. Merida finally arrived. What is this, said Merida. We're on strike, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, said Anthony. We, do, we will not work with Diesel, ma'am. You said you sent him packing, ma'am. I have to give Diesel a second chance, said Merida. I'm trying to help you by bringing other engines here. Now you must help me. He was the only engine available. So the two engines reluctantly went back to work. The next morning, the engines were, in, were still in their shed, and Diesel was right behind Devious Diesel. Diesel's driver had not set his brakes on properly, and he started to move. He bumped Diesel. Wake up there, Diesel. You have work to do. He didn't even say he was sorry. Later, Diesel shunted some more cars, and, they did, and some of them derailed. What will Merida say? Said, what will Merida say? Said Diesel. He won't like it said Anthony. So who's going to tell her, I wonder? Two goody-goody tattletales like you, I suppose. Anthony and Diesel did not want to be tattletales, so they said nothing. Diesel, thinking he can get away with his bad behavior, was pushing some cars onto a siding and didn't know that the siding was accidentally set to um, crash deliberately. Why? Because Thomas is known for crashes. accidentally pushed all the cars into the sea. Well, most of them. Diesel was shocked. Just then Bolshoi arrived to, to clean up the mess. The cars were safely hoisted up from the quay, but the clay was lost. Merida saw ever Merida arrived later that that night. The yard, the, the yard managers told me everything. Things work much better when you are in here, so I shall not be sending you back. Now, Anthony and Diesel, I hope you won't have to mind the extra work again. Oh, no, ma'am. We'll try our hardest, said Diesel. So the two engines went back to work happily, while Diesel went away and never returned again. Or so they thought. Or so they think. What? Yes, they'll be back. They always come back.